Welcome to Learning Lad. In this video, we will see how we can write a Python program to display the hollow right angle triangle pattern. Here, I have divided this pattern in terms of rows and columns, first row, second row, third row, fourth row and fifth row. And similarly, we have first, second, third, fourth and fifth columns. So by looking at this pattern, we can say that in this pattern, total number of rows is equal to total number of columns. And in this case, in this drawing, which is equal to five. Now, if you look at this pattern, then for every row and for every column in that row, we are displaying star or space. Here we have space, which is not uh, visible. And if you look at this fourth row also, we're displaying star or space. In our program, what we do is we construct this pattern row by row. First, we go to the first row. Wherever we have to display star or any other character, we will display that. And wherever we have to display space, we will display that. Then we go to the second row and we will do the same thing. Then we go to the third row and we will do the same thing. So when our program finishes, we get this pattern. So now we have to come up with the logic for calculating where we have to display the uh, character and where we have to display the space. If you look at this pattern, then for every row, in the first column, we are displaying the star. That is in the first row, in the first column, we are displaying star. In the second row, in the first column, we are displaying star. Similarly, in the third, fourth and fifth row, in the first column, we are displaying star. So we have to print star in first column of every row. Okay, that is the one condition. Now, the second thing is, if you look at it, then in the last row, in every column, we are displaying the star. Okay, so the second condition is we have to print star in every column of last row. If we follow these two conditions, then we get this L shape. Now we have to find out the logic for displaying this middle line. For that, in the first row, when the column number is one, we are displaying the star. In the second row, when the column number is two, we are displaying star. Similarly, in the third row, when the column number is three, we are displaying the star. In the fourth row, when the column number is four, we are displaying star. In the fifth row, when the column number is five, we are displaying the star. So the logic is whenever we get row number is equal to column number, we have to display star. And if you write that logic, then we get this line. Okay, so we're going to be using these three conditions and we will construct the program. Now let us see how we can write the program using the Python programming language. So now the first thing that we do is we will ask the user to enter for how many rows he wants this pattern. So we will use the input function and we will specify the message as enter the total rows and after seeing this message the user will enter a number and this input function will return that in string form but we want the number in integer form so we will convert the number in string form to integer form by using this int function and after that we will store that in a variable and i'm going to call that variable as total rows and we also know that in this pattern the total number of rows equal to total number of columns. So now what we have to do is we have to construct this pattern with whatever the number of rows the user has entered with that many columns. So we will use a for loop and I'm going to call this variable as row number and it will be in a range and this range will start from one and it will run up to total rows plus one. Here I'm adding this plus one because with this range function, the end value is not inclusive. If we write range one comma five, then it will provide one, two, three, four. It will not include that five. Here, if the user says, I want this pattern for five rows, then we should have five rows, one, two, three, four, five. So that's why we are adding this plus one here to take advantage of this range function according to our need. Okay. And after that, now for every row, we need to have columns. And we also know that 
In this pattern, total number of rows equal to total number of columns. That is, if we have five rows, then every row will have five columns. So for that also, we will take a for loop and I'm going to call this variable as column number, call num, and it will be in a range. And this range will also start from one and it will run up to total rows plus one. That's because if the user says I want the pattern for five rows, then every row should have five columns. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to print star for every column for every row. And after displaying the star, I'm going to end that with a space. Here I'm adding this space just to make the pattern look pretty. Okay. And what we want to do after printing one row to print the next row, we need to go to the next line and we can add that just by calling the print function and, and by printing nothing. Okay. This for loop that I'm highlighting here, it will provide the columns for every row. Now, if I run this program and if I enter the number of rows as five, then you will see we get five rows and every row has five columns, but we are displaying star in uh, every column for every row, but we have to come up with the logic to display the star in some places and uh, we have to display space in some places. Now, the next thing that we have to do is we have to apply the logic and we have to display star and spaces in wherever we have to display them. So if you look at this pattern, then we have to display the star in the first column of every row. So we can apply that condition here. I'm going to use the if else conditional statement. If column number is equal to one, then we will print star and end it with the space else. What we want to do is we will display a space. So here I'm going to display space. And after that, I will say end it with the space here. This end equal to a space will just add some separation between the characters that we're displaying. Okay. Now, if I save this program and if I run this code and if I enter the number of rows as five, then you guys can see we get the stars in this shape. So that is one part of our pattern. Now, if you look at this, then in the fifth row, we have to display the star in every column. So here we will check whether we are in the fifth row or the last row. Uh, in this case, we had only five rows. So in the fifth row, we have to display the star in every column. If this pattern was made for 10 rows, then in the 10th row, we have to display star in every column. So in the last row, we have to display star in every column. So we will check or, you know, we will add another condition and that condition will be if row number is equal to, and we have to check whether we are displaying for the last row or not. So how we can say that we are in the last row. If the row number is equal to whatever the value stored in the total rows variable, then it means that we are in the last row here. If the user says, I want this pattern for five rows, then the row numbers will start from one up to five. So the last row number is actually present in the total rows variable in this program. Okay. Now, if I save this program and if I run this code and if I enter the number of rows as five, then we, then we get this L shape. We know that whenever we have row number equal to column number, we have to display the star also. So we will add that condition or, and here we will check whenever we have row number or column number equal to row number, we will display the star in all other places. We will display a space. So if you're a beginner, then make a note that I'm using the double equal to sign here for comparing the numbers. Um, single equal to sign is for assigning the values. Here we are checking whether two values are equal or not. Okay. Now, if I save this program and if I run this code and if I enter the number of rows as five, then you guys can see we get this pattern. I'm going to run it one more time and I'm going to say 
10 rows now you guys can see we get this pattern okay now here instead of this star we can display any other thing for example if you want we can display column number or we can display the row number you know you can make that modification and uh, check out the code so you guys can see if we display the column number the pattern will look like this the next thing that i want to teach you here is in this program we are displaying this in this shape what if we want to reverse it what if we want to display it like this i'm really sorry about the drawing so what we have to ch change in this code actually we don't have to change a lot just by making minor modifications we can uh, make this code to display this pattern also which i am uh, showing here if you look at this pattern then the diagonal line this line is same for both patterns but we have to modify the logic to display this line and this line so if you look at here then in the first row for every column we have to display the star so we will modify our program now in the first row for every column we have to display the star so when the row number is equal to 1 we will display the star okay that will provide us the this line and after that we have the logic for displaying this which is same and we have to come up with the logic for displaying this line now and that is if you look at here then for every row in the last column we have to display the star and how we can find out the value of the last column that value is present in the total rows variable that's because total number of rows equal to total number of columns for this pattern so here we will modify when the column number is equal to total rows we will display the star it means for every row in the last column we will display the star okay if I save this program and if I run the code and if I enter the number of uh, rows as 10 now you guys can see we get this pattern so just by making this small modification we can uh, completely uh, we, we can display a completely different pattern so I want you guys to experiment with your code you know you can make it to display um, different different patterns and after that if you want you can post your code in the comment section if you get any uh, doubts then you can post that in the comment section i'll try to answer so this is it guys for this video thank you for watching if you like this video then hit the like button if you don't like it then hit the dislike button if you want to say something then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video